So you want to buy a long easy. Ah, the long easy. I too was swooned by the long easy's outrageous performance and delightfully weird everything else. The long easy is a standout in every category, mostly in good ways. In case this is your first time meeting the long, quickly, it's a Burt Rutan design, sold only as plans, which means everyone was scratch built by individuals. It's made almost entirely from fiberglass wrapped foam. It's a canard, it's a pusher. It's pretty fast, very light, and has very, very long range. Most are painted white. This is to minimize heat from the sun. As a Canadian, I can tell you this works. It's the same reason we paint our igloos white. And you're caught up. Range actually varies quite a bit depending on the engine, of which there are two that power most longs, like homing O235 and O320. There are oddballs out there, of course, but these are the most common. O320 is about 10 to 20 percent faster and burns 30 to 40 percent more fuel. It also climbs quite a bit faster, but probably the most important difference with the 320 is how much it shortens the runway requirements. Long Easy loves a long, smooth runway. Way. A bigger engine shortens that affair. Weight is another interesting one. The POH says the maximum takeoff weight is 1425 pounds and the maximum landing weight is 1325 pounds. It's generally accepted, it seems, that some folks fly overweight, not mentioning any names. Since you get to write your own manual when you build it, you can write your own weights technically. There are documented cases of loading up to 2000 pounds, though that's rare, but 16 or 1700 pounds is not. Despite that, there are no reported cases of structural issues during flight. Landing is the most likely issue with flying overweight, and takeoff roll is dramatically affected for the longer. One of the biggest draws of the long easy is the purchase price. These planes are inexpensive. That is not a reflection of performance at all. There just isn't a huge demand for such an unusual home-built airplane. Operating expenses are quite reasonable. Experimental retract isn't a great way to fill out your insurance application, but the very low hull value tips the tails back in your favor. One insurer I spoke to said that they wouldn't provide in-motion comprehensive insurance, only liability. E AA insurance said that they would. Fuel burn runs from 5 to 9 gallons depending on which engine and your power settings. All these prices are an average between the two engines. All in all, I really, really, really liked Long Easy and all of the Rutan family of misfit airplanes. Weirdness is something I really appreciate in an airplane. So is great performance and the Long Easy has both. It's drenched with character and style. While it's not especially accommodating to the big and tall, average sized pilots will have no issue. The rear seat, however, should be reserved for the especially petite and young. To be honest, I can't came pretty close to buying a long easy. If I was just able to close the canopy with me inside, I probably would have bought it. But I couldn't, so I didn't. Pity. That's the Rutan long easy. Thank you for watching. See you in the next.